Hey friends, welcome to Mixology Phrenology. I'm Bitter Steve, and today we're going to take a deeper dive into a cocktail from my previous video on Grappa. This should be a short one, so we won't do the full intro. Uh, how's this? <laughs> okay. So in my Grappa to its nudity video, I showed you how to make a really nice Grappa cocktail. Not my own, but a really interesting cocktail called the Rosina Ferrario Number no. 203. Anyway, I tried this cocktail out with a few mixology, phrenology approved improvements, and I figured out how to elevate this into the stratosphere. Not long ago, I had invited the queen of conspicuous cleavage-based cocktail snapshots and her deliciously depilated boy toy over for a taco night. And even though this was meant to be a tequila margarita night, I decided to present this delectable new libation to them. I received what I believed to be my greatest cocktail compliment when she said, I'm so confused as to what I'm tasting right now. So I've decided to confound all of you with formaggio confusione, or maybe we'll call it the Royale with cheese. Since Grappatuitous Nudity came out months ago, I'm assuming you've already made my famous elixir, Parmesan Grappiano. If you haven't, it's 12 ounces of grappa against 2 ounces of grated real Italian Parmesan, sous vide at 130 degrees for 2 hours. Shake it for a little bit, then throw it in the freezer overnight. I prefer to strain it out through a coffee filter just to make sure I've gotten out any remaining cheese particles. Here's the thing. I only got 8 ounces back, so I may go a full bottle next time against maybe 3 ounces of parm. The cocktail will be 1.5 ounces of Parmesan Grappiano, half ounce of Maraschino, half ounce of Creme de Violette, and a half ounce of lemon juice. من الأيام بنتعلم نجا مرات وديما نجوم الدنيا فيها المحن فيها الإنسان فيها الفتن فيها الخذلان وفيها الندم من قريب الناس وفيها الألم الدنيا الدنيا شجا وفيها الدنيا We will spritz with some absinthe right on top, garnishing with some tarragon. The tarragon does match the aromatic profile of the absinthe spritz, but I'm really just using it for looks here. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? Let's check this out. That cheese really just melts into the grappa. Uh, though the addition of the maraschino and violet, well, I'll bet you didn't think those flavors all meshed together, right? This is amazing, and this is why you need to subscribe. Accessible, but crazy. And that's what we're all about here. Drink responsibly, and be creative with your cocktails. 